Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with a video. This time I'm going to be showing you how to get this live wallpaper from the Google Play Edition devices as well as their camera. So let's get started. Okay, so both of them are pretty easy to get. They're just uh, APKs that you're going to have to go ahead and download and install. So first one is uh, down in the description. They're both in the description. First one, you just go ahead and click that. Uh, you'll be taken to a website. You go ahead and download that and you'll see Sunbeam uh, one APK. Go ahead and click on that and it'll ask you to install it. Once you've done that, you go ahead and long press, go to live wallpapers, and you'll see Sunbeam down there. Very simple. I uh, just thought I'd make a video, you know, showing you how to do it, get it out there. Uh, and then the second one is the camera. So if we go ahead and take a look at my camera, you can see I still have the older uh, camera. Whether Google will bring that uh, camera to older devices such as this one uh, is unknown yet, but it's available if you want it now. All you need to do is hit the second download link and you will be brought to another website. You'll see Google Edition uh, Camera. Go ahead and install that. Now it will take some time. Uh, maybe around 10-15 seconds but it should go ahead and work and no you don't need root for either one of these so that's really nice you can go ahead and install on any device you'll see a uh, gallery app installed you'll go ahead and hit done now we'll go back into the camera and as you can see we have the newer interface with these stacked uh, sort of icons with the options here um, now I found this to be actually kind of cumbersome to use sometimes um, if you wanted to change the scene sometimes it was kinda of hard for me anyway I mean it might be different for you but you can also always just tap this little icon down here and you have flip to front facing camera you have some options down here exposure HDR uh, they're all pretty much the same except for this countdown timer you can go ahead and do that if you want to have a countdown you can do 10 seconds all the way up to one minute and then uh, you can have it beep go ahead and hit done you still have photosphere and everything like that now when entering photosphere it gives you a little tip on how to use it so that's kinda of cool you know how to use that. It looks a little different as you can see here this dot is a little different looking than the blue one. You still have your regular panorama pictures then you have your uh, video recording to take you can take a picture while recording still and you can change the uh, uh, the video quality and everything like that. Now taking a picture does seem a little bit faster so that is kinda that's pretty good and then uh, when you take a picture it'll come up here to the top right hand corner as you saw and then you can click on it from there if you'd like now if we go ahead and click on the picture uh, you can see this new uh, little edit button down here it now looks like the one in Google Plus rather than the three circles and your um, you have sort of a different uh, UI here now as you can see it kinda looks like it, it's glitching a little bit right there um, that's kinda to be expected it's not an official for this for this Nexus device but anyway that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video I hope you liked it if you did don't forget to hit that like button subscribe down there for more and I will catch you in the next one peace